Wow guys, I'm actually really impressed with this sneaker right here. Today in hand, I got straight from the sneakers at the Nike Air Force One in the New Orleans, Louisiana colorway. These were just like a random shoe that dropped. Decided to enter form on sneakers, ended up hitting. And yeah, this is like the kind of shoe that I like because it's very unique. No one's gonna have it and like it's just a cool one to review because there's probably not really many reviews on YouTube and also there's a lot of intricate details which we're going to jump into pretty much right off the bat. So on the lateral side of the shoe you can see that regular Nike Air Force One silhouette, the classic. And while the outsole and the midsole are exactly the same as the regular white on white Air Force, the swoosh is like a silvery glitter theme going on, so that's pretty cool. And it's surrounded by a gold outline, so that definitely pops and makes these kind of like a centerpiece shoe instead of just a basic Air Force One. And then right here, really small, you could see NOAA and then 504 right above the L, which is the area code for New Orleans, Louisiana. Pretty cool touch right there. And then on the back here, you got this gold tab. I think this makes the shoe look a little bit tacky, but it is part of the color scheme. I do think they went a little bit overboard on that one though. I think they could have just left that like a maybe a white or like even a silver would have looked cool as well. But it is what it is. The inside of the shoe actually looks different than the outside. Instead of a silver swoosh, you have a white swoosh in the exact same patent leather material as the rest of the upper with that gold outline once again. So that's pretty cool that they're both different on either side. The tongue tag says Nike Air Force One in like a rose gold colorway with gold lettering on it. That's a pretty cool touch. You don't really see that color anywhere else on the shoe besides that. You got your white laces with gold lace tips and gold lace slits as well. So a big white and gold theme going on here. You got 504 in big gold letters on the front. And yeah, I think that's actually my favorite detail of the whole shoe. Just brings the whole shoe together. So nice, it is a close-up shot of that. Pretty sick. 504, again, is the area code. So these are very, like, New Orleans focused. If you're ever going to New Orleans, this is a shoe to wear. Um, it does have a patent leather upper, and it feels, like, pretty premium. Like, it's not necessarily soft, but patent leather almost never is. These kind of have, like, the the UNC patent leather, or the fearless ones. Same material as those, I would say. Very, like, solid. And yeah, obviously they will crease up pretty bad on the toe box just because they are patent leather, but they are also waterproof. So that's pretty cool. The bottom of the shoe, you got that regular Nike Air outsole, or Nike Air Force One outsole, I mean. And then the insole is really cool, actually. Let me get that paper out of the way. You have size 10, and it says Nike Air Force One in New Orleans themed lettering. It's just a really well done shoe, in my opinion. Gonna be one of the ones that completely flies under the radar, but I think it's a very worthwhile pickup if you guys have any like affiliation towards Louisiana or affinity towards it or if you just like the shoe in general. In terms of like sizing and comfort, Air Force Ones usually fit about a half size big. So these will probably be a little big on my feet. They're size 10 if I did wear them, which probably I won't. But this is the other side of the shoe. Same deal, you got that Noah right there which I think is so cool. And then the 504 on the front. I love the details on these. Like, I literally thought I would hate them. 
in hand because they're so sparkly and loud but they're actually very well made as far as the box goes you kind of just got a regular Air Force One box except it's black the regular one is gray I believe so you got Nike Air Force One on top and then on the side you have Nike Air Force One PRM which means premium so that means this shoe is a little bit more premium than others in terms of like materials used on the inside paper you have like a textured paper it says established 1982 on it and like it's a very nice feeling paper which is weird to say but you can tell it's like very crunchy and it has like a pattern on it that's pretty much the only different thing about the box though otherwise it's pretty much just a standard Air Force One box and yeah, in terms of resale value, I'm pretty sure they're going for right around retail. So, pretty easy shoe to get in hand without much of a hassle. And yeah, I think it's a really nice shoe. Honestly, it might even be on my top 10 2022 list. Which isn't saying that much because this year was absolutely terrible for sneaker drops. But it's still saying something. So... With that being said, I'm probably just going to end it off here because I don't have much else to say about it. So thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you all later.